Good morning, guys. I don't know when this vlog is gonna go up because obviously I've not even been able to upload my last vlog. For some reason, my phone has refused to like export the edited video, so I don't know what to do. So I'll have to, okay, obviously, I know what to do. I'd have to move it to my my laptop and try to edit it on my laptop because I don't know what's going on, really. I've tried every trick known to man, but no results anyways how do you guys enjoy the snow so this is like two days after the snow or let's say a day after sha after the snow event the first snow of the winter and um let me see if i can show you guys around. Huh? No, no, you I can't really. yeah i know but there's not much to show anyway in this area because we're outside anyway um anyway what's happening now so um we're going to have breakfast out this morning it's quite cold it's about zero degrees outside we're going to have breakfast out so tesco has this um, cafe there's a tesco in the city center that has this cafe where they do like breakfast and do lunch and all that so we'll just see if we can have something for breakfast there obviously typical english breakfast because i don't think there's anything else you'll probably see there maybe except sandwich but yeah so we'll do that i'm picking up my glasses today as well i would have mentioned this or i mentioned this in my last vlog which you guys I don't know if you would have seen <laughs> but obviously that would go up definitely because this goes up so you guys should have seen that so I'm picking up my glasses today after so once we get breakfast we'll pick up the glasses and we'll be back home um yeah that's basically it Sha. I haven't been up to much I just um, would go back do some cooking and then just read as usual um how have you guys been uh, well, you guys been up here keeping warm if you're if you're uh, in the cold areas, um, I hate cold. I hate cold. Um, so like, I'm, I dread when I have to leave the house. Thank you. I don't prefer I like heat. That. I like like a, yeah, I like it because at least I can still turn on the fan. I can take a shower. With cold, it's when like you when you turn on the heat, it just doesn't feel natural. The heat it provides, I don't know. Yeah, I get dry. Like my lips get dry, my throat gets dry from using it that you get so like I still prefer like a natural <laughs> natural sun and warmth and all that if you tell you choose one permanent I will choose permanent cold, summer or permanent heat uh -uh, don't say heat like that in a bad way ah, it's heat too mm -mm. they say permanent maybe 24 degrees summer 23 is, degrees I'll the height of it. summer is harsh it's really not cold they will say permanent 28 degrees I'll still go with it Twenty degrees is high. You say permanent like, like ten degrees. Ten is cold. What are you? Smells like cold there. Eh? How do you say permanent ten degrees? Ten degrees is like permanent autumn or spring weather. Uh, I mean, it's okay not now. bad with a few with that, just a light light coat or something. But yeah, still, I like I'd rather twenty something. That's this, me. I can't even see the market. I'd rather twenty something. Is. Anyways, um, yeah, we're at test school now. This if he's disabled, he'll be on the floor now. Okay. Or didn't he? Okay. Don't park here. Mm. So, there's this thing there. There's space for them. Talk to you guys um, when we get breakfast. I'm hungry. How do you zoom without touching the screen? You have to touch it. There's a button you touch once you change the zoom. You see that in up and down when you zoom. After you say the road one plus, you tap on it to change the zoom. So what will happen? You can now use that button to move it. In and out. Yeah. Zoom over to it. She's not excited about coming back to, to London where, they, where you have to hold your phone tight.
new glasses who that you guys i have new glasses even though it's obviously just going to be for like reading because i realized that like when i'm like walking it makes the floor like appear further than it is so i think it's just best for like reading and but it does make like i realize it makes my vision very crisp like when i'm reading text um reading reading anything it just makes it very very much clearer yeah it does so wow is my vision that horrible what are you trying to read vr gaming vr racing Let me see from I, I can see it obviously but like it's just a clear clarity it makes it in my own it makes it like double self it's just for me it just brings it just makes it more cl clear i mean i prefer to see with my normal eyes no for me it's better with it if actually. i go there now they will say i have eye defense no they'll give you a problem you can't go to high place without collecting problem <laughs> <laughs> like yes. even looking at the screen it makes it so clear for me interesting interesting stuff so i had bad vision mm? yeah happy that you have bad vision no 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 i would like be happy i had bad oh, vision yeah, I'm just happy I can see clearer. I didn't think it was possible to be see clearer than what I was seeing. Anyways, um, oh, I use my seatbelt. One minute. So I got um a car dashboard um stand thing. What do they call it? What do they call it? Dashboard camera stand. Yeah, those dashboard ones. Yeah. I forgot to put it on this morning because we we're rushing to leave the house. Um. But I'll try next time so at least I don't have to hold my my camera out every time and then I can get more stable images. Even though this camera does a good good job, I'm using the um, DJ, DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll buy it this December. I think there's still the old Black Friday thing going on. So I'll be this November, yes. Yeah, so I think we can still get it. That's if there's a discount anyway. If there's no discount, it was probably like 90 something, I think, if I'm not mistaken. For it, anyway, there was something my, my husband and I were talking about that I wanted to talk about so he posted something on his um instagram there was a pastor who posted something about ah i don't remember it's okay maybe i should just open my instagram okay okay yeah so the pastor says i don't know if it's a pastor who posted it or someone posted something from a pastor i don't really know who the pastor is but the video was just pastor talking about um we can th you can thank god correctly without dragging others into your testimonies so it's around this thing um okay and then my husband you know reposted it and puts like now why me know now why me know the like testimony time for church and obviously my husband is very much a, a christian <laughs> even a pastor's child at that so he grew up in church very much <laughs> so it's not no no so it's not saying out of a place of where like maybe it despises um church or anything like that too so but you guys i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about there's this thing that people do and i feel like it comes from a place of lack of understanding anyways um because if there's understanding I'm being inconsiderate, very i know it's lack of understanding if you're considerate it if you're considerate, just being a good person, you know that there are people in this crowd that might have experienced what you've, what you're testifying about, but on the other side, the other side. No, let me tell you why I say lack of understanding. Because for them, they think, oh, I'm just thanking my God. But now, when you now understand that, the Christianity you're practicing, like any Christianity that doesn't like, that doesn't change the way you think, doesn't change the way you behave, doesn't change the way you interact with your fellow like humans, like, it has not worked in your life if you don't know like it has not yet done anything for you so like okay you are testifying that oh i want to thank god i was involved in an accident so many people died but i want to thank god that i did not die i'm still alive so now imagine that that same accident you witnessed somebody in that same congregation lost their wife or their husband or their child that's a accident no like, i'm not just even saying like let's even say what if you cannot imagine that someone you don't know died for you know like let's even say someone you don't know died for me but you don't even care about someone you don't know think about someone that you actually know that is that congregation like when you're saying that kind of testimony does it make sense to you 
to say that oh i want to thank god because people died but me i did not die like how we how are people that are that lost their wives spouses children mother father in that same accident listening to that how are they supposed to feel nobody is saying you don't thank god that you're alive because at the end of this let me tell you something it was not because god loves you more than those, those people that, that you do not die life will swing see life is like a clock with pendulum and that, that they say it just swings in different directions so if you think that you know something bad hasn't happened to you or something traumatic hasn't happened to you yeah, just be patient to get to you you know the, the, the like, funny part is where they now say i'm not i'm not saying this to despise, and don't have to say to despise to say but you've already you've already said it already it's already despised. made the person feel somehow you can just thank your life thank god for your life you're involved in an accident but you but you you know just you, has, you made it you know you are alive because for me, the testimony is not even the fact that you are alive. You can be alive and your life is useless. If you're alive, I do believe that there's a reason why you are you are still alive. So it, it should be a, like, what they call that thing now? A wake-up call for you that, oh, okay, I'm alive. So what, what, what difference can I make in my life? What changes can I make in my life? What, what, what can I add to the world being that, being that I'm still alive? Do you understand? Being that, being that I, I do not die in that accident. Honestly, it's not about that you do not die. You did not die, so what? I, I'm here, you're still die. Those who are alive, so they are their life, they are just useless. They are just a non entity to the world, non entity to the world that the society at large. Um, it's good. It's, I mean, nobody wants to die on timely and all that, but dragging others is the like, bone of contention. Like saying, oh, oh, I'm not better than. This is not to say that I'm better than people that died. I just uh, want to thank God for. I mean, the way they say it that makes it seem as if. See, even you know, if I'm not holy, yeah, like it's not because I'm holy, it's just because of the mercy of the Lord. So, is it that God did not God have not mercy? God is not merciful to those people. I because people we associate more... God's um, kindness, God's goodness to like our circumstance. So, when things turn out good for us, oh, God is good, God is perfect. And the same God is what well, I say, I but will God, show mercy to you all. Get, mercy. So, so not... those that died now, you mean that God wasn't merciful to them, or God doesn't care about their family, or God doesn't love them? No. Life, life, see. I posted recently on my on my Insta story as well that um um what's that thing I posted self? I said God then Jesus said in this life you have troubles. He did not say in this life you may have troubles. He said in this life you will have troubles. Meaning that problems will come, you have challenges, you face tribulations. I think another version even says tribulations. So you face problems like but that's not the that's not the focus. It doesn't change who God is. He says but like you should you should be you should rest assured that you know he has he has overcome already for us so like you facing problems or coming out like i've just went to a place in my life where i'm not i'm not living my life hoping that things go smoothly for me and i, I don't know i don't know when that changed for me but like even when i pray sometimes and i just try to um let beg god to like not make me too used to like <laughs> too used to like problems but i've just come to a place where i've just accepted that life life is going to come with challenges and you cannot pray it away that's the truth of the matter you cannot pray. Is, you cannot pray it away yeah what you what you need you is the yes the strength the because he says it's with us he said when you pass through deep waters when you walk through the fire that is with you in it so it's not it's not like where you will not face it you will face problems that's what i've come to understand but i don't know you guys will get what i'm saying you guys get the there are two things you're talking about you know I've jumped from one thing to another. <laughs> You're talking about I was the initial talking, no, one was uh, how your how the testimony should give mm. uh, the the role it plays in people's hearts and yeah, how and then it affects I went to, other people, and also the idea of not being faced with tribulations and thinking that when you are yeah. saved from a tribulation, you are maybe any special or yeah, you are not special. Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that was where I, I stopped and I now started talking just generally about myself and how the fact that I don't like, like, I just got, since I became, I just understood that, see, life, you're not special when something bad or something good happens to you. It's not because of anything in particular. Do you understand? It's just because of God's, that's just God's character. God's, God's character is mercy. Whether bad things happen to you, whether good things happen to you, God's character is just, is that's his character. And then sometimes things happening to us is not because, like I was saying, it's not because whether God loves you or God doesn't love you. That's another thing I was saying. <coughs> um, but yeah, before I scatter everything, this world is not perfect. And as long as we are here in our earthly bodies, things that are beyond our control will 
continue to happen. That will continue to happen. Nobody says you shouldn't be grateful. Nobody wants to there's die the, untimely. There's the part where actively trying to prevent things. People mm. try to pray off things they can actually prevent themselves. For example, you're saying, God, I don't want to be involved in an accident, yeah? Mm. You know that your car, the car you're driving with, mm. is not in right condition. Yeah. The tire is not proper. I know, of course, or the, those, this, those type of preventive measures. Yeah, you you can do there are some things you don't need to pray for. How many yeah. accidents happen on a daily basis in the no, world? Because also, in, you know, there is also you can do your own your part. And yeah, of course, there's still the can part be of drunk yeah. driver and then can come. Yeah, and that's you. that's a different mm. so part. So those are parts, yeah, which is why still, I also said like God should direct. You can pray for direction. Pray like, oh God, lead me. Because sometimes you might want to pass a road path and something happens, you end up passing a different path. And maybe that's where. An accident would have happened if you passed something. There are just circumstances but, like that. that what are you going to do about that? No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Direction. You can pray. For, you can pray, like for God to direct you and just direct you generally in your daily life. You know, and it's not just about protecting you from accidents or protecting you from harm, so to speak. Directing you in your daily life can also come in form of like when to do things for other people, who to help. Like as in not even who to help because you should help everybody you can as much as you can, but like um, just specific you know things in your life like where to go. You know there are just some tiny things you do that you know you will now eventually see the big picture later on. There are some small decisions that you make at some point in your life where you are just thinking this is just a small decision. Well, years down the line or months down the line, you now see how it plays into a bigger picture and you're like oh okay maybe in that moment maybe it was just. You know, God, because you could have just changed your mind and done something else that would have led you down a completely, maybe different and even worse, oh, terrible like road. So, yeah, something like that is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> but you get what I'm saying, Jerry. I'm not saying you shouldn't pray for protection. I'm not saying you shouldn't pray for provision. I'm not saying you shouldn't pray for... Um, but, like, beyond you being alive, beyond you seeing your daily bread, what is the core? Why are you alive? What's the what's the more important thing for you to do? Jesus lived the three, the three years on earth. That's the truth. That's enough to show you that uh, it's not about how long you live at the end of the day. Nobody wants to die at 33. <laughs> I'm 31. <laughs> Nobody wants to die at 33. But rather a short life with meaning impact than you know a long one where you are just living. You're just living, you're just existing. I'm just saying, Jesus lived the three years. Like at the end of the day, it's not about the length. Of life that you live but the meaning you know you make in that life the sense the life you live <clears throat> I don't know if you guys the understand impact. the yeah. impact you make in that whatever duration of time you've lived but obviously like I said and I'm still saying nobody wants to die on family nobody wants to die young nobody wants to die in their 30s and 40s everybody wants to live to their ripe and old but it's not promised for anybody in the world like it's not promised it's not promised you can only pray and hope Anyways, pray hope, <clears throat> and you know me, the way me I live my own life. Yeah, mm. I believe so much in that the concept of seed time and harvest. Yeah, mm. if you don't sow, you won't reap. Mm. And I also feel the part that God will play there is yes. knowing the right time to sow, mm -hmm. knowing the right ground to sow on. Mm -hmm. Okay, getting the proper direction about that and being in touch with mm. your spirit on how and when to sow and mm. you understand this everything around sowing but the idea is you still need to sow so if you there are some things you do practically to prevent issues happening there are things you do practically to to leave an impact things you do practically to plan for your future you understand that if you don't do it's not going to happen no matter no, how gonna, yeah, definitely. much you which is why you know some people say you see anything. there are some things in like the way i see the world to, to a very large extent god has put so many things in place and some people come and be, be but not in a unbeliever that is doing well for themselves see you that you are doing the christian tag if you don't follow like those principles it's not you're not gonna see anything out of it you can yes you love jesus and jesus loves you but you are going to you probably die poor that's the truth of the matter right someone who is an unbeliever who is putting those things in place will live a better life financially in terms of, like better than you financially even health like, wise, even wise yeah, exactly in whatever area so that's what we're saying like, there, is, you there are laws there are laws it's like when god said the, it's just like yeah. how you plant a seed you plant a seed and you water it whether you're a christian you're a muslim you're a you're an atheist if you plant a seed you water it you put it in the right soil it will grow like it will grow if you continue to eat to eat uh, unhealthily 
Yeah. And you keep praying. And you keep praying. You can't pray sickness away. You cannot prevent. You can't pray sickness away if you have an unhealthy lifestyle. When God has given you, there are laid down rules. I don't know. I feel like the problem I have with religion is that people use religion to cover up so much inadequacies in their life. This is the rule. Follow it. Mm -hmm. This will not happen. You understand? If everyone follows the rules, everyone is safer, everyone is happier. Mm. It's just that sim simple. This if you vote simple. the wrong people into power, your country will be, continue to be bad no matter how much you pray. Mm. If you like, do fasting and prayer for 100 million years. The bad will still happen yeah. as long as you didn't make the actions to prevent it. So, yeah. I don't know, you didn't think. Uh, that's why I said something earlier. I said, um, I said any Christianity, yeah, like you're living. Because Christianity ultimately is not a religion. It's like if you want to do religion, there are so many religions that you can join. Like you can do. I even have more traditions. Yeah, they have. If you want to follow tradition, you want to follow rules to the letter to the T. There are so many like places you can join. But like if you understand like where Christianity comes in, if you understand Jesus, what he brought, the way of life, because it's a way of life that Jesus brought. The way of life he brought, and you will see that there is so much in the Bible. If you if you really do understand the way God works, you see that everything revolves around people 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 if, you, if if god mentions oh love the lord your god you will see that he also pushes you back to other people like love others because ultimately it's around it's about making the world better for people around you like it's not just about you 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 you, you, you. like around, it's about making the world like making decisions to love others to be kind to others to make your surroundings better like you can't do things, you can't, like, it's contradictory. You see people that, you say you are a tongue-speaking, Bible-believing person, but, like, you are mean. Like, you are mean to people. You will see how you can help someone. Like, someone is legit, legit need around you, like, something that you can actually help them with. Something very little, but, like, it's like the story of the Good Samaritan now. Because we keep mentioning that story. I'm referencing that story, but, like, the idea was that, someone who like seemingly did not know anything about the ways of God who did not know anything but saw somebody in need saw a fellow person a fellow human in need and went out of their way to help that person why someone else poss possibly saw that same need and felt oh okay I'm maybe I'm a worker in church I'm rushing to service and left somebody that was dying by the roadside do you understand so it's just those basic human like Following Jesus takes you back to the core of humanity. That's why the Bible says Jesus went about doing good. Like Jesus did not see somebody in need and just walk past the person and like decide not to help the person. He went about, the Bible says he went about doing good, healing those that were oppressed by the devil. You know, he did not see people hungry and did not provide food for them. He did not see people sick that he could help and then refused to help them. That's the core, the core of this life that's we have decided to live like if you're calling yourself a christian a follower of christ it should revolve around um the transformation you experience or that you've experienced or that you're experiencing should also reflect like in your interactions your daily interactions in your life like it's not just to speak in tongues or to lead worship and like feel like everybody is under the anointing or Mm -hmm. Or to feel like oh you can pray God like you can interpret the Bible very well. Mm -mm. Ah, we can talk from now to tomorrow. There's even also Corinthians, you know, it says oh if you do so so and so, but you don't love, like it keeps taking you back. Like everything is still the core, the base, the foundation is still love, 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 and that's love for people, love for people, because. How do you interpret love for God? Let's even say that one. If you want to use that one, you know, so people say, "Yeah, love for God. You have to love God." Love. But how do you actually interpret love for God? Tell me, like, okay, someone should just give me an example in the comment section. How do you show that you love God? How can you actually show that you love you love God? By is it by dropping money in church or by dropping title offering? Because is it God that is going to spend the money? Nope. Let's be honest with ourselves. God is not going to spend the money. And anybody, even someone that doesn't love God, can also drop money in church. Do you understand? There are some things that it takes more. Like, there are some, there are some evidences that, obviously, it's only a transformed person that can do. It takes a transformed, transformed person to really, really love people from, like, the core. Even when people are hurting you, like, even when you're not happy, even when it's not convenient to go out of your way to do things for others, to love others, to support others, to help others. That's... 
a really 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 transformed person anybody can drop money in church anybody can pay offering anybody can pay tithe anybody can pray and speak in tongue anybody can even worship self carry mic you uh, are how many people live like totally different lives they'll come to church on sunday lead worship lead prayer lead everything and then after they leave they are living completely different lives so but it takes a transformed person to actually love others from their core i think i went to vlog it is already like 20 something minutes in addition to the other intros we've done earlier so um i think we'll just wrap up the vlog here Trim up some yeah, I'll trim off some part obviously because <laughs> I'm sure that I've over talked. <laughs> I'll trim off some parts, and but yeah, just wanted to wrap up the vlog. We've gotten home. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys. No, make sure you like this video if you like it. Um, this is me basically. Like, I love conversations, I love hard conversations, I love meaningful conversations. I'm always down for, I love like, <laughs> I like communicating, like deep communication. I feel like people avoid. Um, what people don't want to talk about um, but I also try to do it or try to be reasonable and sensitive when I'm passing across my message anyways my battery is low like this video if you like it leave a comment I want to hear what you guys think I want to hear your opinions um, yeah what else share share this video too as well if you think it will be helpful to somebody else and I'll see you guys in my next video say bye <laughs>